In our regular videos, we like to talk about how you can recycle lots of items from metal to plastic and cardboard. We discuss the different bin options and all the technical detail. Sometimes we think that the actual impact of poor waste management and not recycling on the environment is not fully appreciated. In Australia, we are very lucky that our waters and beaches are generally very clean, and so sometimes we fail to grasp the magnitude of the impact rubbish is having on the natural environment. Today we will cover the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is the largest and probably most famous of the zones of plastic debris accumulation. What is most scary is that there are actually five of these huge zones in the world with very similar characteristics. So, what is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? Basically, it is an accumulation of waste plastic in the middle of the ocean. Scientists estimate that roughly 2 million tonnes of waste plastic enters the oceans every year, and they have to end up somewhere. The patch will move around with weather and currents, but is generally located between California and Hawaii. As lots of plastic is less dense than water, it floats on the ocean surface, and after a time, ocean currents see huge volumes accumulate in certain areas. So how big is this problem? Simply put, the Pacific patch alone is 1.6 million kilometers squared, which is three times as big as France, or twice the size of Texas. And of course, Texas is famous for being big. Estimates are of course extremely difficult, but the patch is assumed to contain roughly 80,000 tons of plastic and 1.8 trillion pieces of debris. That is 250 for every human being on Earth. The impact on wildlife and the environment is not fully understood. The plastics eventually break down into microplastics, which attracts marine life. In 2021, we are at a position where plastic has entered the food chains in the oceans globally, and nearly everything we consume will likely have some plastic component. Entanglement of marine life is also a huge issue, such as the case of turtles and plastic straws that attracts a lot of media attention. I hear you ask, so what can be done? Of course the technical issues of fixing this problem are huge. Being in the open ocean is difficult at any time, let alone retrieving and transporting huge volumes of waste plastic. Thankfully there are a number of projects underway in 2021 such as the Ocean Cleanup, which we link to below. This project uses floating barriers to capture and contain floating plastic and has had some trial success. It is only a start, but this will certainly be an area you will hear much more about in the years to come. For lots more recycling info, visit us at waster.com.au and like and subscribe below.